What's up guys? What's up cycling? Fanatics! <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog. Alright. Let's see what we're dealing with. Oh, the sun is out, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. That's a little bit different to yesterday. Morning. Morning. We're going down for breakfast. Let's see what kind of buffet situation they got going on. Yeah. <laughs> He's ready in his kit. You That's what he said yesterday. You did say that yesterday. You did say that. I did say that. I'm not in my kit. <laughs> I only just woke up. <laughs> oh, oh. You know, when a hotel's got chocolate cake, chocolate cake for breakfast and multiple options of chocolate cake. It's a good hotel. <laughs> but good morning your faces to a brand new day and day number two here in Italy. We've just been down to get some breakfast. Breakfast is done. And now, and now we are gonna go for a bike ride. Oh boy, I'm so happy that the sun's out today. I mean, it's still cloudy, but it's, it's much brighter and it's dry. And the fact that it's dry is the main thing. Yeah. All right, we're rolling now. Second time looking out found a memory card. All right, Tim's gonna be behind the camera today in the uh, in the van following us. Gonna go out for a little bit, bit of a ride with the uh, in Emilia Romagna guys. This is the bike that they've hooked us up with for, for a few days. Love the little beast. Fondriest, fondriest whip with uh, with one. Is that one oh five? Yeah, one oh five. Back on, uh, back on mechanical gears. Don't know how I feel about that. Oh, also, Just also. Just your bike. No, it's a, it's a good, it's a, it's a great bike. Where's your, where's your bolt? In my pocket. My wife. <laughs> Here's my wife. One issue we're gonna have with this bike, right, is the, um, the bloody Europeans have their, <laughs> have their front brake on the left. <laughs> Do you have your front brake on the left as well? That's normal. No, it's not But normal. I, I've been on a mountain bike once where it was reversed and you are gonna have the hardest time descending, man. It's, it's, not, it's not normal. Normal is right. Right is the front brake. Whatever. <laughs> also, Jasper's going leg warmers today. What's this all about? He's going leg warmers I'm and, pro, and I'm, aero I'm doing like the pro warm leg thing. I'm not it's pro. super wet. All right, so we're just rolling out now. Gonna go for a little bit of a spin today. Hope it stays dry. We've been riding for like two minutes and the town that we're staying is staying in uh, I forgot the name of it but basically it's the home of I've got some crazy Dutchmen in the background but basically where we're staying is the home of Marco Pantani or where it, where he used to where he came from and this is the Marco Pantani museum full of like jerseys and old bikes and memorabilia and stuff it's pretty cool eh Tim do you reckon we can hook up Zwift on this that is an old turbo trainer. This is like the first ever smart trainer, I reckon. <laughs> this is Pantani's first bike with, uh, look at that gearing system, gearing ratio, three speed with the down tube shifters. Yeah, you gotta be strong to push that bike up the mountains. Pedal, pedal bikes weren't the only bikes that Pantani used to ride. This is his motorbike, as we can see there. He likes to ride motorbikes and play football. It is pretty incredible to see how the bikes have changed over the years. Check out his custom saddles that he has on all his bikes. It has the Pirate and then Marco Pantani stitched into it. How cool is that? Alessandro, what is the name of this town? Cisenatico. And uh, this is where Pantani was born? Was born and lived. Really? And lived, yes. So this now we will see his house. His house? Yeah. Okay. And we're gonna, today the ride is gonna take on some of his train yeah. roads and stuff, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we will train uh, in, uh, in uh, his uh, routes. Yeah. And uh, we will see where uh, he, he became a champion. Really? So maybe after today we will be like Pantani? Ah, I'm not sure, man. <laughs> <laughs> we will try, we can try it. We just need to shave, <laughs> we'll shave your, we'll, we'll shave your head, man. <laughs> So this is where, uh, this is where Pantani used to live before he passed away. That is a pretty sweet house. Pretty cool to see all the stuff about Pantani. Jasper, do you take that, do you take that uh, selfie stick everywhere on your rides? I take it everywhere. Yeah? 
not in the race, but <laughs> if you see me do a vlog, it's with this thing. So now you know behind the scenes of Jasper's vlog, he uses a GoPro of a selfie stick. <laughs> That's it. Just in LA, a local. Julius uh, Caesar crossed this river. That's why he's having a statue here. Basically. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's warm. It's pretty warm. Today, this is though. warm. I'm really happy about this weather, man. I noticed. I noticed Jasper's taking his leg warmers off already. Has he though? Can we tell? <laughs> but I have the fur. Look, <laughs> still warm. Beautiful. Oh man, these roads are incredible. Just look at the scenery. Right over there in the distance, that's San Marino. No, that one, San Marino. And we just got green fields. Alessandro and Jasper on the front, towing us along. This is sick. We've been riding the 40k so far. We just stopped at the side of the road. In the, uh, in the Italian hills because one of the boys has got a puncher. Tubulars. Tubulars. Tubulars out training. This is what happens, guys. You get a puncher. And we're stuck. We're stuck. So the Emilia Romagna. The guys that invited us, me and Jasper, out on this trip, which is the tourism, which is the local tourism board for the Romagna region, also have set up their own cycling team. So we got here today. One of the riders is it Rick Ricardo? Ricardo. Yeah. How's racing been going this season then? Then uh, the season, uh, the race uh, are uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. Tomorrow it's a very hard race, but uh, we we try to to race. Yeah, uh, as much fast as possible. Yeah, and then you tell me you, you you crashed like one month ago. Yes. What what was that racing? No, in a normal training. Just training. Yes. What happened? Uh, in the downhill, I I don't remember nothing because I. I oh, you, you, and, uh, you knock yourself out. Yes. Okay. It, so what? You just crash on a descent? Yes. Oh I man. I arrived in hospital uh, with the helicopter. Really? Yes. Man, wow. And, uh, it wasn't a good uh, wow a good sensation um and how long did you have to have off the bike i have uh, one month on of on, on the bike yeah and uh, all uh, all time uh, i ride on the rollers okay so you can still train on in indoor yes wow it's a very it's a very difficult but uh, with uh, a good music it's a very good uh, good music yeah it's and a very uh, good, uh training yeah 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 so is today your first ride back or? Yes, yes really? today, in uh, this week I I done uh, the first uh, ride. Wow, fair yes. play man, fair play. So it's taken about 50k, we're well into the first climb of the day. Ricardo's pushing the pace. Jasper's just cruising. How long is this climb, Alessandro? It's about 3k, 4k is far, so 4K. Four, 4 and a half. That's too many. That's 4k too many for Jasper. Five and a half too many. <laughs> We're at the top of the climb. This is the steepest part. It gets to about 14%. No, the, the steepest part is finished. Oh, is it? <laughs> Where is uh, where's Jasper gone, Alessandro? Jasper! Where's he gone? Ha! He's <laughs> gonna save his legs for tomorrow. No. Because he wanna attack me. <laughs> he's, he's off the back. There he is. Ah, Jasper! There he is. I think he was talking too much to his camera. I'm sorry, man. Oh, but that good shit. Ah! Ah! Mate, he was, he was bluffing us. <laughs> Chris Froome attack on the Mont Ventoux. The scenery is incredible. Yeah, we are on the top of the hills. Yeah. But stay all on the top. If you go on the other uh, way. Yeah. The other direction. Yeah. Uh, you stay on the top for about 15 k more or less. Oh really? So you have all the scenery. And you you will go uh, close to Tuscany. It's so green as well. What is the gradient, Jasper? It says 12, but it's no 19. 19 percent. 19 percent. This this climb. This is the final. 300 meters of uh, the final, like the of Copy Bartoli. Uh, some kind of race, I can't remember. Lander? Mika Lander. Pie Bartoli, la frazione che è partita da Riccione con arrivo a Sogliano sul traguardo dove nel corso degli anni. So we're halfway, about halfway down that first descent. And this is what I love about Italy, you know? I used to arrive in these 
towns in the middle of nowhere and the half of them have race finishes up them. This one, the Copi Bartoli. The first part of that climb was so steep I couldn't even start filming. But this is where, uh, this is where Ben Swift won a few years ago. Up to this church at the top. Hey, look who's hey. here. Uh, okay, so I have... have you, uh... Come here, guys. I think he's still drunk. Have you, uh... Have you sweated at all the Sambuca? No, no, no. no speak about Sambuca. <laughs> Today I'm serious. So actually, this place is a... Is a you can, you can take a breath. Yeah, have a, have, <laughs> yeah, yeah, have yeah. a minute, you're out of breath. Uh, I can't can, can talk. <laughs> go, go. So, it's a particular story. Byron, Lord Byron. You know Lord Byron? No. He's a famous poet from England, from the 18th century. And there is a legend that he was coming here by himself uh, as a secret because he has here, he had here uh, a lover, oh. a lover from from a little, local lover. Little side piece. So it was a hidden story, really hidden story. But after some years, but not not even anymore because there is a square yeah. <laughs> so so basically we keep stopping and we're going through all these little villages at the top of the climbs and the guys are giving us a little bit of history about them and whatnot but i think we've got about five more k now and then we're going to stop somewhere to get some food and then get a lift back in the uh get a lift back in the van hey i said it last time and i'll say it again emilia romagna in italy is incredible the scenery is incredible. When these guys said to me, do I want to come back and do another trip? Like, I didn't even think about the answer. It was just yes. Time to descend again. That's two, two climbs done today. The Lamborghini factory isn't far from where we're staying. This is a prototype of the 2020 Aventador, called the Aventador Tri. And uh, there's Jasper. <laughs> And we have made it. There's the guys at the van. Done about 70k on the Wahoo. Just stopped at this uh, this restaurant. We're gonna grab some food to get changed. But that is the end of the ride. How was it in the van, Tim? How was it? Do you ever charge any of the batteries on any of your cameras? Sometimes, otherwise it is out of battery. <laughs> Yahoo! Children playing on the swings. Whee! Ride done. Now it's lunch time. Ho ho ho. Oh, this is course number one. It looks like a rolled up, yeah, it looks like a rolled up pancake with some... Apparently it is a chickpea wrap with cheese and ham and some vegetables and stuff. The food just keeps on coming. We've got some more bread and stuff over there. Some ham, some salami. Pasta with cheese. <laughs> so this is like the first main. We've had two two rounds of starters, and now the first main. We go again. It's, it just it's literally just like a river or a complete flow of food coming out. Time for the main course number two. Food keeps on coming. <laughs> Oh mate, I'm not too sure how many more courses I've got in me. We gotta keep room for our dessert Tim. That is a solid chunk of piece cheesecake. The cheesecake is homemade. It's so good. That is a cheesecake to pastry ratio I can I can work with. Oh my god. I am full. I'm wet. If there's one thing the Italians know how to do, yeah, they do do food well. It is how to do food. Food. Looks like we ended our ride just at the right time. It is pouring it down right now. And now, I'm pretty thankful that we got the van here because we get a we get a taxi ride half half an hour back to the hotel. Don't think after eating all that food we could ride. <laughs> Your race number? Uh, nine. Cameron Jeffers? Yep. Run? Uh, UK. Okay, that's your. Yeah, thank you. So our hotel is right across the road from the start line that you saw yesterday in the video. So we got back from our ride in the van, then we've walked across the road to where the start is. Signed on, we've got our numbers ready for tomorrow. There, I think there's 4,000 people in this Grand Fondo. 
I'm number nine. Got my timing chip. Jesper's number ten. So uh, yeah, we're ready to race, I think. Italians take their grand fondos legit. Freaking serious, man. <laughs> There's a press conference going on right now. There's gonna be motorcycles with cameramen during the race. race. <laughs> There is Andrea Taffy, ex Italian professional cyclist. They're very fast. And um, also, what I'm looking forward to is, is having the long climbs. In the UK, the longest climbs are maybe five or ten minutes, but here in Italy, I mean, tomorrow we're, we're racing up 20 minute climbs. So it's a whole new dynamic for, for me and, and also Jasper, who, who aren't used to that. So yeah, it should be really, really exciting as long as it stays dry. And if it doesn't? Uh, well, I, well, I'm British, so. <laughs> so we got a Lamborghini here. Classic, we're in Italy. And apparently we just chatted to the policeman there and this is an actual working Lamborghini. Hey, I wouldn't mind being in the police force if I got to drive I wanna that. be a policeman now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be a pilot anymore? No, I'd rather be a policeman. <laughs> That's insane. It's got like a siren thing in the top. <laughs> it's got a siren. It's got the radio in there and everything. Wait, that is one hell of a police car. What an absolute baller. Imagine being the police officer that gets to drive that around. Woohoo! So he's walking around like the press area where all the shops are and stuff. Ahead of tomorrow's Grand Fondo. They've got girls in Lycra everywhere, man. I say these two have never ridden a bike in their life. <laughs> hey, stop, they don't stop. They have a padding in their, in their pants. No chamois. I mean, it's a chamois skinny suit. Oh, there's more girls in Lycra. <laughs> I'm just looking at the bike. Yeah, he's looking at the I'm bike. I'm just looking at the bike. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the bike. Now this, this is the stall that you want to come and visit. This is a proper bike, Jasper. Are you riding this new brand, new super nice looking bike then? Yeah, I'm riding. This is the electric one. So this is Conlago's brand new E64 that, that was announced like two weeks ago. What? And uh, it does not, that does not look like an e-bike at all. No, that's what I said. I thought it was actually your bike. <laughs> <laughs> That's my bike, Colnago Concept. It does look nice with some disc brake zips. Oh, I missed the Colnago. I'll be back soon. So it's been a good couple of hours since I last picked up the camera. Basically, after that press conference, uh, we came back. We came back across the road, literally, guys. We came back across the road. The press, the press conference was in this uh, Cantini Club here. And we came back to the hotel right here. And I spent the last two hours lying on that bed, watching the Tour de Yorkshire, chilling out. So yeah, that brings us up to speed as to the current time, which is 8 p.m. It's still light outside, there's still people here. It blows my mind, it still blows my mind as to how many people, or like how big these Grand Fondos are, like how serious people take them. I mean, there's stalls, there's shops, there's people, there's police covered uh, graphic Lamborghinis. So yeah, tomorrow's gonna be pretty hectic. The rain has started again. Uh, but fingers crossed guys like it, I mean the sky doesn't look too bad if we get that weather that's coming in off the coast Then I don't know it might be it might not be too bad in the morning But we're just gonna keep our fingers crossed and hope that it's not too bad. What is that? All right We're gonna head down now and get some food get a decent pre uh, pre race feeding before the Grand Fondo tomorrow So I'm gonna end today's video here guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it If you did be sure to leave a like big day tomorrow. So uh, stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys around the fourth year. Peace! Can't lose my